Welcome back to Metro Exodus. We just had an unpleasant boat journey and ended up having to take the green stuff to combat the radiation. And hallucinated seeing Anna a bit, but I think we're okay now. Let's continue. Okay, I guess we're not okay. Seeing the people I used to inhabit this place. Using the train station, getting on trains, getting off. What is that body doing up there? It's a very weird place for a body. Sounded like a voice for a second. Such an eerie light. Oh, it's using up my filter. Alright, I need to get a move on then. It's a child. Oh, I'm really succeeded. Can you join up with me? Browned note. Yes, I did shut the gate. What else was I supposed to do? You've been sitting down there ever since the warning came in, and I spent all that time manning the gate. Crazy shit was going down here. Traffic jams you'll never believe. Crashes all over. Emergency teams stuck in traffic just like everybody else. Everyone went nuts. The crowd rushing for the gate with suitcases, bags, and stuff. Eyes white. I had five soldiers. There was no way we could have held. They started shooting into the air. The crowd rushed back. Five people got crushed against the wall in the stampede. I couldn't do anything. I just couldn't. And I'm certainly not going to stand being judged by you, and not by any other man either. Farewell. See you on the other side, I guess. I 
It's very eerie light, very UFO light. There's a voice again. What the fuck is that? Oh shit, that's from radiation. Yeah, it's into the low yellow. Right, it's gonna get higher now that we're leaving the metro. Excuse me. Could it be the dark ones? Didn't we wipe them out or something though? I forgot exactly how that worked in the older Metro games. Side. Yay. Can't wait to meet that thing. Oh god. Oh god. Am I about to find like meet a yeti or something? Abominable snowman? trying to stay hooked on to this rope to help guide them through I don't know, a blizzard or something? This is going to go bad. Why are we seeing this? Something showing us that? Oh. No, not that. Didn't look like a dark one. Not the ones I've seen. Using up my filter.
I wonder if I should take a med kit now. I look pretty hurt. Let's do it. How many do I have? I have one more after that. to try. I take out the binoculars. I don't think I pressed B there either. Maybe I accidentally did. about the experimental medicine. If we find it, Anna has pretty good chances, then 60% chance of complete recovery. 300% chance of partial recovery, although cut out at that point, so I'm not sure what that number is. of filters. Nice. Ooh. 
That doesn't have eyes, does it? Okay, here we go. Got a boss fight. Just kill it? What the hell is that? That was so easy. Maybe this weapon really is just ridiculously overpowered. Jesus. Oh, this thing needs power, doesn't it? Doesn't have any... Yeah. And it goes into the basement, doesn't it? Or over this way, which I can open from the side. Yeah. Basement it is. I'm going to use the opportunity to make some more pellets, because I think I just shot a bunch. Let's also make some more medkits. Two more of those. Doing pretty good on steel balls, but yeah. Let's get up to 68 anyway. It's still alive, isn't it? Or maybe there's another one? Fuck, I don't know. Oh god. Let's actually make some more steel balls.
Dropped everything in a corridor. It sounds like they were. What did I just press? Oh, I just switched weapons. They also distracted it. I mean, unless there's going to be a stronger one than the ones I've encountered, I don't need to distract it though. It's pretty easy to kill. talked about the beasts more than one, so I think I am just encountering multiple ones. I don't think it is the same one coming back to torment me. I wonder if they maybe escape from the zoo or something.
That might be where I'm supposed to go. Molotovs. There's nowhere else to go, right? Nope. Shipping list. Container contents destination status. Oh, container contents. Wait, is that like a title, or is that saying the order they're in? Ah, whatever, doesn't matter. The radio protector, that's the green stuff, 3,000 packs. Delivered to Civil Defense HQ in Novosibirsk. Get in our packs to another place in Novosibirsk. 5,000 to somewhere in Moscow. Somewhere else in Moscow. Somewhere else in Moscow. Another 5,000 somewhere else there. Hmm. Hmm. This might be important. Oh, wait, no, this is important. Yes, <laughs> I just looked at the first part. This is not radio protector. This is the stuff we need. Rennergan F. ME branch shipment canceled. Uh, meaning it's still here? I'm assuming they ship out from here. So it's still here, right? That or the opposite, and it never arrived. I'm not sure which. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this isn't going to be fun. Oh, it's going to break, isn't it? That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Going back and forth to stun him. I need to craft more. I'm gonna spend all of it on that actually. 92 pellets. Thank god this thing holds a million shots. Jesus, look at that pile of bodies. This must be... Oh god, yes, there, this must be one of their, like, lairs. Look at how many freaking bodies there are. Pile of bodies. Pile of bodies. Pile. 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 Jesus Christ, they've killed so many people.
I think that's where I go to continue. I want to see if there's any loot upstairs. Ooh, what's... What's that do? I can't actually use it. Okay. Oh. Need to do this first. something that I needed to open over there to continue, probably. Yeah, there's a big power line that goes over to there. So that's an anomaly, right? I can't jump. I want to. I could easily get in there by crouching, but I can't actually jump up there. Sign unopened. Hell yeah.
Есть, Артем. Держись. Держись, сынок. Сейчас, сейчас. Держись. Сейчас полечает. Ты нашел. Нашел. They just used their shot on me. Не вздумай умирать, слышишь? Даже не думай, что я ей тогда скажу. Что? <смех> не спать, боец! Не спать! Я все же тебя нашел, сам не знаю как, но нашел! <смех> не спать, Артем! Я думала, опять один останусь. Вставайте, скорее! Не просыпается. Таких лучше уже не будить. Тут надо прямо ехать. Он хотел меня научить, но не успел. Сознание потерял.
с ним, как он еще жив до сих пор. Артем, слышишь меня? Поаккуратнее, ребята. Облучился он капитально. А тело полковника даже замерять не получается. До зимы тошкалится. Держись, Тёма. Мы тебя вытянем. Как же они так? Собери, Катя. Что делать? Руководи. Только переливание. Срочное. Сколько можно? С такой дозой. Значит, переливание. Спасет? Он подольше тогда продержится. Насколько крови хватит? Группа крови. Четвертое плюс. Ему любая подойдет. Все, кто может. Сюда всех. Не засыпай, Артем! Нельзя сейчас спать! Ну, здравствуй, Артем. Пойдем подышим, а? Надоело под землей торчать. Все, Степ, нельзя больше. Смотри, очнулся он! Слышишь, Артем? Не вздумай нам тут помирать, ясно? Не вздумай! Тебя жить и жить еще, детей растить! Борис, слышишь? Борис! Ну, чего встал? Ты же всегда наверх хотел. Еще на ботанический полез тогда. А тут как раз есть на что взглянуть. Это не твой пункт назначения, Артем. Ты не доехал еще, слышишь? Рано выходить. Это тупик какой-то, не конечная. Слышишь? Дай-ка руку. О, горячий какой. Ну, может, теперь похладнокровней станешь от моей-то стариковской крови. Идем, идем. Так, дружище, пора залить в твой бак новую порцию крови. Ничего, скоро ты у нас будешь бегать, как новенький, или я съем свою треуголку. Знаешь, я наконец чувствую себя дома, в семье. Я больше не чужак. Это ты объединяешь нас, Артём. И ты должен выжить ради всех нас. Ну что, поднимемся? Слышишь, Артем, у тебя жена, вам детей заводить надо. А меня моя в Москве ждет. Нам еще все метро надо на уши поставить. Так что не вздумай в этой жопе мира подыхать. Смотри, Артем, Байкал как на ладони. Тут в настоящую жизнь верится, не то что у нас в метро, возня крысиная. В общем, Артем, ты был прав. Прав был, что оттуда хотел нас вытащить сюда. А я дурак старый. Просто боялся, понимаешь? Жизни боялся, выходит. О, смотри, улыбается. Во сне улыбается. Кажется, говорит что-то. У него жар под 42. Бредит. За этот мир не жалко все отдать, Артем. Ты всегда был готов к этому. А я нет. Цеплялся за должность, регалии свои крысиные, да. Прости меня за то, что с Аней так, что обвинял тебя во всем, прости. Не накрутил бы я вас всех с оккупантами этими так, она бы и в подвал тот не свалилась. Артем. Умоляю тебя, только не умирай. Останься со мной. Мне без тебя и жизнь не нужна. Слышишь? Посмотри на меня, Артем. Посмотри. Да, по поводу Ани. Ты, Артем, должен за ней приглядеть. Раз уж я теперь не могу. 
Океан там не океан. Просто будь рядом. Выгнала я ее. Еле на ногах стоит, а сама уже всю кровь готова ему отдать. Слава богу, лекарство помогло. Чудо настоящее. Дочка у меня есть. Но я еще о сыне всегда мечтал. Чтобы такой был упрямо, как я. Как ты. Хорошее место какое. Чистое. Я его для себя присмотрел. Хочу тут лежать. Организуешь? Ну и главное, Артем. Мое время кончилось. Дальше давай ты. Впрягайся. Веди их. Помни только, я Спарту создавал, чтобы людей сберечь. Всех людей, Артем. Помни, потому что я об этом забыл как-то. Ну все, командир. Хватит дрыхнуть. Труба залет. Подъем, сынок. Пожар спадает. Кажется, ему получше. Теперь отдых нужен. И тебе, Анечка. Дай Бог выберется. Дай Бог. Мы нашли место из моего сна. Холм на берегу Байкала, куда меня привел мельник. Чистое место, как он и говорил. И нетронутая природа вокруг. Мы обрели дом. Дом у подножья сопок, на берегу озера. Дом, где мы можем растить детей. Детей, которые родятся не в сырых туннелях, а под чистым небом и ярким солнцем. Дамы и мужики, как старший по рангу офицер, выдвигаю командиры ордена Артема. Кто за? Единогласно! Ну что, товарищ командир, какие будут приказания? Я бы скомандовал по домам. Только этот дом слишком велик для нас. Знаете, полковник сказал мне однажды, что создал орден, чтобы спасти людей. Всех людей. Значит, нам пора исполнять долг. Let's finish out this playthrough with some thoughts on Metro Exodus. Overall impression? I really enjoyed this game. It took all the stuff that worked from the first two Metros and changed it from being very linear to very open world. Not that linear is necessarily a bad thing, I was fine with it like that, but I also enjoy it in a different way when it's more open world like this. And they did it in a way that didn't fall into the, the traps that a lot of huge open world games have. Namely that, like a lot of AAA open world games are just, they have absurd play times and it's very much quantity over quality. There's just a lot of stuff, like a million icons on the map and the map is a bajillion miles big and it takes you like 200 hours to finish it. But with Metro Exodus, they made it just a, like a medium-sized open-world game. It took me about 40 hours to finish it, which, I mean, you know, for a game that's fairly long, but it's also not that long compared to a lot of huge open-world games like, I don't know, Skyrim or, you know, the new uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which, according to how long to beat, would take a completionist about 113 hours to finish. I was a completionist and it took me about 40 hours to finish this game, so if you weren't a completionist, you could probably finish it in 20, 30, easily. Anyway, point is, it's a medium-sized open-world game where they didn't sacrifice quality for quantity. It's small enough and it's directed and story-driven enough that it doesn't become so open-world that it loses all kind of coherency or, or sense of pacing or story. 
but big enough that there's a good sense of, of freedom and personal choice in how you approach everything. In other words, it was just right. This is exactly what I'm looking for in an open world game, usually. is something that's open, but directed and concise and high quality enough that it's not wasting my time. And it also does an excellent job of having story and characterization and personal moments between characters, despite being open world, which often makes that kind of hard to do sometimes. Also, despite being a shooter, which I think always inherently has, it's, it's hard to take a shooter too seriously because there's some inherent ridiculousness to the fact that almost all of your player verbs are just like shoot or stab or blow up or things like that. It's kind of hard to make that gel well with interacting with other characters. But I think they really made it work. The whole flow of like you go through a really big area, one of the three big areas, and then after you're done with that, you have this interlude on the train between areas. And if you really want to talk to everybody like I did, it's a pretty long interlude. It could easily be an hour or more just talking with people, spending time with them, doing all sorts of really nice things. I love all the little details where like spending time with Anna, you can like stroke her hair or uh, talking with someone, you can like smoke a cigarette while you're chatting, stuff like that. Just it makes the characters feel very real and feel like you're actually interacting with them. And I, I felt like I got to know the whole team, the whole of the order. It actually gave me a pretty good variety of verbs beyond <laughs> killing things during those interludes, which was nice. It was refreshing. Okay, well, I think I'll end it there before I blab on too long. Yeah, overall impressions? Really loved it. Definitely my favorite Metro game out of the three. I hope they make more Metro games. See, I haven't read the book series that this is based on, so I don't know if this is based on, like, the final book, and if that means that there won't be any more, or w what? Mm, I do know that they plan on making DLC for this game. I don't know what the DLC is going to be like, but if it's pretty good stuff, like single-player, story-driven stuff, then I'll most likely play it. So that has been Metro Exodus. Thanks for watching.